So we want to find out how the number e is defined here. I'm simply going to write this out. So for part one, uh, using a limit, we can simply define e as the limit as h approaches 0, e raised to the k minus 1 over h is equal to 1. All right, for the second part here, um, let me write this out here. So I'm going to have to define this. So these are values of h. The second part is going to be well, quantity 2.7. You can type this into Wolfram Alpha if you have to. Raise the k minus 1, close that, over h. And I'm actually going to copy this. And the only thing that's going to change is 2.7 is going to become 2.8. All right, so this is going to be negative 0 0.001. I'm just going to copy this. So this needs to be. I'm just going to leave that blank. I got one too many rows here. All right, so this, you plug this in here, um, you end up with 0 0.99276. Feel forward to fast, fast forward. Feel free to fast forward in this video. I know this is a little boring. It's data entry. Okay, so we run our calculations here. We get about the average. So the limit of h as it approaches 0 for 2.7 raised to the k minus 1 is going to be over h. It's approximately 0.993. And the limit as h approaches 0 of 2.8 raised to the k minus 1 over h is approximately equal to 1.0296. And we can conclude that e lies on the interval between 2.7 and 2.8. And I know that the letter e, or the number e, is approximately equal to 2.718 and then a bunch of other decimals. So this is correct. All right.